Praise the Lord, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in him. Hallelujah. We are grateful unto our God for keeping us all night long. We welcome you to In His Image Ministries, where we are a center of hope for all people. We're glad that you're tuning in with us this morning to give the Lord some praise. Amen. God bless each and every one of you. Hallelujah. I want you to worship with me in your homes. Lift up your praise unto our King today, for he alone is worthy of all the glory, and he's worthy of all the honor we do bless the Lord today we do honor him for his goodness for his greatness for his mercy and for his strength hallelujah our God is good and he is worthy to be praised hallelujah water you turned into wine open the eyes of the blind there's no one like you there's none like you into the darkness you shine and out of the ashes we rise there's no one like you there's none like you our God is greater, our God is stronger, Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, he's awesome with power, our God, our God. Our God is greater, our God is stronger, Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer. He's awesome with power. Our God. Our God. Water you turned into wine. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. There's none like you. Into the darkness you shine And out of the ashes we rise There's no one like you There's none like you Our God is greater Our God is stronger Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer. He's awesome with power. Our God. Our God. Oh, our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer. He's awesome with power, our God, our God. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand against? What could stand against? Our God is greater, our God is stronger, Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, he's awesome with power, our God, our God. There's no God like Jehovah, there's no God like Jehovah. 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 There's no God like Jehovah.
Jehovah. There's no God like 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 Jehovah. Our God is great. Hallelujah. And there's no God like Jehovah. He alone is worthy of the glory. He's worthy of all the honor. And we bless his name today. Hallelujah. How many out there know that we serve a great God? And he's greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. All will see how great, how great is our God. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. All will see how great, how great is our God how many know he's great today how great how great is our God sing with me how great is our God all will see how great how great is our God you're the name above all names and you are worthy of all praise and our hearts will sing how great is our god oh yes hallelujah he's the name above all names you're the name above all names and you are worthy of all praise and our hearts will sing how great is our god there's no god like jehovah 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 there's no God like Jehovah. 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 There's no God like how great is our God. I just want to lift them. Sing with me. How great is our God. All will see how great, how great is our God. You're the name above all names, and you are worthy of all praise. And our hearts will sing how great is our God. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. Oh, we'll see how great, how great, how great, how great. How 
great, how great, how great, how great, how great, how great, how great, how great, how great, how great is our God. Oh, come on and bless our great God. Come on and bless our great God. He is great and he's greatly to be praised. There's none like it unto our king. There's none like him in all the earth. He alone is great and he's greatly to be praised. Oh, I bless the name of the Lord this morning. I give him the glory because he's worthy today. How many know that he's worthy today? He woke you up this morning. He gave you the activity of your limbs. It was no goodness of your own that you saw this day today. It is because the greatness of our God, there's none like him in all the earth. Why don't you bless the Lord wherever you are in your home? Give him some glory this morning. Give him some honor this morning because he inhabits the praises of his people. So come on and praise him today and let him inhabit your praise. Oh, come on and glorify the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, we give him glory this morning. We give him honor. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Great and mighty is our God. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, Lord. Great and mighty is our God. Oh, he's a great God. He's a great God. He's a great God. He's a great God. He's a mighty God. He's a mighty God. He's a mighty God. Oh, yes, a mighty God. Great and mighty is our God. Hallelujah. How many know he's great today? Hallelujah. Great and mighty is our God. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, you are, Lord. He's a great God. He's a great God. He's a great God. He's a great God. He's a mighty God. He's a mighty God. He's a mighty God. He's a mighty God. He's a holy God. He's a holy God. He's a holy God. He's a holy God. He's a sovereign God. He's a sovereign God. He's a sovereign God. Great and mighty is our God. Oh, come on. Come on if you know he's great. Come on if you know he's mighty. Come on if you know he's sovereign. Hallelujah. And he's a holy God. And we honor him. Hallelujah. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. And let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. How many want his glory to rise? Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. And let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Oh, let it rise. Oh, let it rise. Let the glory of the 
glory of the Lord rise among us and let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Oh, let it rise. Oh, let it rise. Let the power of the Lord rise among us. Let the power of the Lord rise among us. And let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Let the power of the Lord rise among us. Let the power of the Lord rise among us. And let the praises of our King Sing, oh, let it rise. Sing, oh, let it rise. Let the healing of the Lord rise among us. Let the healing of the Lord rise among us and let the praises of our king rise among us let it rise let the healing of the lord rise among us let the healing of the lord rise among us and let the praises of our king rise among us let it We sing, oh, let it rise. We sing, oh, let it rise. Lord, we want to see your glory. We want to see your glory. We wanna see your glory. We wanna see your glory. Let your glory rise. Let your glory rise. Let your glory rise. Let your glory Oh, rise among us, Jesus. We need you to rise among us, Jesus. We need you to rise among us, Jesus. Rise among us, Jesus. Rise. Rise. Rise, come on in the rise. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Oh, 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 o
We want the glory to rise today. We want his power to rise today. Oh, come on and bless him wherever you are. He's worthy of the glory and he's worthy of the honor. Hallelujah. We know he's good and he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Lord, you are good. You've been so good. Lord, you are good. You've been better than good. I can't praise you enough. I owe you my life. Can't praise you enough. Even if I try, cause you've been so good you've been can i get a beat so good you've been so good to me lord you are good You've been so good, Lord, you are good. You've been better than good. I can't praise you enough. I owe you my life. Can't praise you enough, even if I try, because you've been so good Lord you've been so good Lord you've been so good to me so many doors you've opened so many ways you made so many times you've healed me you've been better than good to me so many doors you've opened so many ways you've made so many times you've healed me you've been better than good to me so many doors you've opened so many ways you made so many times you heal me you've been better than good to 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 me. 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 Do you believe it today? You've been better than good to me. You've been better than good to me. You've been better than good to me. You've been so good. Lord, you've been so good. Yes, you have. You've been so good. Oh, Lord. You and you've been so good, so good. You've been so good to me. Oh, come on, bless the Lord for his goodness today. He's been better than good to us. If you look over your life and you think about the goodness of the Lord, he's been better than good. He's been better than good to us. Hallelujah. 
Oh, we bless the name of our God. We're going to lift up one more worship and get out your way. But God is good and he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Oh, we give him glory today. I searched all over. Couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low. Still couldn't find nobody. There's nobody greater. There's nobody greater. There's nobody greater than you. How many agree with me? Nobody greater than our God. I searched all over, couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody. There's nobody greater. There's nobody greater. There's nobody greater than you. Your name is above all names. You're worthy of all praise. Mighty are the works of your hand. Mighty are the works of your hand. Lord, your name is above all names. Lord, your name is above all names. Lord, your name is above all names. And you are worthy of all praise. And mighty are the works of your hand. Lord, mighty are the works of your hand. Lord, mighty are the works of your hand. Lord, you're mighty, 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 mighty. You're so mighty, 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 mighty. And Lord, you're holy, 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 holy. Our God is holy, 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 holy. I searched all over, couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody. There's nobody greater. There's nobody greater. There's nobody greater than you. Oh, nobody greater. Nobody greater. There's nobody greater. Nobody greater than you. Oh, come on and bless our great God. Come on and give him a great praise. For he is worthy of all the glory. God bless you. Praise the Lord, everybody. We thank God for you tuning in here with us today at In His Image Ministries, the center of hope for all people, where our great leaders are Bishop Thompson and Elect Lady Thompson. We thank God for them. Why don't you praise them there in your home for our great leaders? We give God all the glory and the honor for them. He alone is worthy to be praised. We thank God for their steadfastness and their diligence and love to all the saints. Again, we bless God for you tuning in with us today. We pray that the Lord will lift you up. We pray that you're doing well today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We're just going to want to bring a word to you today to lift you up, to encourage you, to let you know that God is on your side. Amen. And that this too will pass. And so we're believing God. We have an expectation. And I'm sure that you do. Many of you probably are a little weary and well-doing with the pandemic and wearing a face mask and all. But God has a plan through all of this. Just hold on a little while longer. Amen. 
Weeping might endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. You ought to praise him right there in your home, in your living room, wherever you are watching this broadcast today. Amen. We thank the Lord for you this morning. I want to bring you a word, amen, while we just have a few moments together. Amen. To encourage you this morning, looking at the book of Matthew, chapter 16, we'll be looking at verse 13 today. Amen. The book of Matthew, chapter 16, and at verse 13, it reads, And when Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say, Thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee. But my Father, which is in heaven, and I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I love this power verse right here in verse 19. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Amen. Great, powerful scripture that the Lord uh, has given us through the word of God. Also, I want to take another text, amen, in your hearing from the book of Matthew chapter 9 at verse 16. It says, no man putteth a piece of new cloth on an old garment, for that which is put in to fill it up taketh away from the garment, and the rent is made worse. Neither do men Put new wine into old bottles, else the old bottles break, and the wine runneth out, and the bottles perish. But they put new wine in new bottles, and both are preserved. Amen. How many are ready for something new in this last hour? Amen. I want to talk to you uh, just briefly about the church and the process for a new dimension. I know you want to go to a new dimension tonight. I know I want to go to a new level, amen, through this pandemic, through this time, amen, that we are experiencing globally. I believe that God is up to something in the life of the church, amen. I believe he's up to something powerful in our lives. Hey, that's something that is praiseworthy right there, that we know that God is in control, amen, and he has all all things worked out. We are looking at our text as we have read that Jesus was on the coast of Caesarea Philippi and he began to talk to the disciples because there was a lot of chatter in the land concerning who Jesus was. Uh, just some chapters prior, Jesus had fed the 4,000, had seven loaves left over, and as he was on his way to the coast of Caesarea, he began to minister to his his disciples concerning who he was. Ah, he wanted to get a perspective of what they thought about what God was doing in his life. And as Jesus was getting closer to his destination, there were a group of antagonists called the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And these men were antagonists to Jesus's ministry. They did not believe that he was the Christ, the son of the living God. And they often challenged him in his ministry to prove himself to them. Ah, from the very beginning of Jesus's ministry, when he was just a young boy, 12 years old, they challenged the very veracity of who he was. How can he speak with this type of wisdom, not being 12 years old, not being 50 years old? Amen. They often could be seen challenging who Jesus was. Amen. And at this time, in Matthew 16, they were doing what they always had done. And so Jesus took the opportunity, I thank you today, Lord God, continue to use these lips of clay to minister forth a word to your people today in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Jesus took that opportunity to minister to his disciples and he told them as they were on their way, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. If you know anything about dough and about leaven, you just take a little leaven to leaven the whole lump and cause that dough to rise. They did not understand what Jesus was speaking of because they did not have a proper view of the antagonists that were antagonizing Jesus's ministry. Jesus said, listen, I am come with a message of the kingdom of repentance, of turning back to God to open the eyes of them that are blind. Amen. To let go those who are in the prison houses, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. Ah, but the Pharisees and the Sadducees questioned who Jesus was. Ah, and they thought that you needed some type of other works, amen, concerning the law to be acceptable with God, amen. And they made twofold worse the child of hell with all of their ordinance. They prayed out in the open and in the streets, ah, thinking that they will be heard for their much speaking. Jesus in his ministry upbraided his men that were following him and told them, don't be like the Pharisees. Don't be like the Sadducees. Don't be religious. Don't put a burden on the people grievous to be born. Don't put more on them than that which is necessary. Ah, you are two students and teachers of the law, but Jesus taught them many times I come to fulfill the law and the prophets amen he began to teach his disciples beware of the leaven of the Pharisees they are going to try and switch your spirit amen and Jesus began to explain to them concerning the leaven of the Sadducees and the Pharisees ah because they asked Jesus in Matthew 16 show us a sign amen and Jesus said, there shall no sign be given to you, a wicked and adulterous generation, speaking of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. No sign will be given but the sign of the prophet Jonas. As he was three days and three nights in the heart and the belly of the whale, so shall, amen, the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Ah, but Jesus taught that if I, if I be lifted up, come on, he would draw men to himself they could not understand his ministry show us a sign show us that you are the Christ there was a belief among the Pharisees and the Sadducees that miracles that were performed were done by devils amen this was a group of vipers Jesus called them amen they did not believe that anyone could work the kind of miracle that Jesus worked amen even in the book of John chapter 3 when Nicodemus came by night he made a statement no man can do these miracles except God be with him amen Jesus warned them he said there shall no sign be given to a wicked and adulterous generation I understand wicked but why would he say adulterous because even if I give them a sign they're not gonna change lovers come on God is looking for lovers of him in this last hour that's going to be committed to him beyond their religious experience, beyond their religious obligation. God in this hour is looking to expand the church beyond our religious traditions, beyond our ordinances and beyond our statutes that had us prior to the pandemic just coming to church. Amen. Ah, using the church as a type of medication and when the church is over we take all the symptoms of the world back home with us but God is trying to transition us to get us not to be a religious group anymore but to really be the church that he has called us to be in this last hour he has called us to be a people that carry his name a people of power a people of anointing a people 
people that great grace will be upon them don't you want to be in the number amen I don't want religion anymore I want relationship with the Lord Jesus I want to know in this next season of the church that all of my praise and all of my worship was worth something to God come on I don't want to be in the sanctuary anymore shouting and dancing and going back out and live a defeated life I want to know this time that I got something real on the inside how many want something real in the next dimension of the church we don't know what the church is going to look like we see many people asking the question when we come when we are able to get back together what is the church going to look like I encourage you to read the book of Acts chapter 2 because that's what the church is going to look like on the day of Pentecost they were all with one accord and in one place and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind that filled the house where they were sitting there sat upon each of them cloven tongues like as a fire ah, and they all began to speak in tongues at the spirit gave them utterance I come to tell you what the church is going to look like we going to look like power we going to be looking like some people that have been in contact with God that's why through this pandemic believer you got to stretch out on God now this is preparation season I come to tell y'all I know there's a pandemic I know there's a contagion out in the world but this is preparation season for those who can believe and trust in God you ought to ask your neighbor are you getting ready are you getting ready Ah, expanding us. And so Jesus asks the boys a question as they come into the coast of Caesarea. Who do men say that I am? Ah, and the disciples, some of them begin to say, some say you're Isaiah, some say you're Jeremiah or Elias. Come back from the dead. You must be one of the prophets because many of the people in that day believed in reincarnation. Amen. The only reference that they could point to was the moves of God that have come prior. You must be a reincarnated prophet. I come to tell the church of God that when God is getting ready to do something new, he don't have to reach back into old movements. He don't have to reach back into where he was, but God said, behold, I do a new thing that you never seen before. I know we have heard stories about God's generals, A.A. A. Allen and Catherine Kuhlman, amen, and many of of the great prophets that have gone on to be with God and many of us long and I don't blame you many of us long to see those days of the great tent revivals the great healings that were taking place but God said listen this last day revival that I'm about to do you think that that was something back in the 50s and the 60s what I'm about to do is getting ready to blow your mind your eyes having seen your ears having heard neither has it entered into your heart the things that God has prepared for them that love him you ought to get ready get ready in the words of Bishop Jakes touch somebody say get ready get ready get ready God is about to outpour on his people he said in the book of Acts chapter 2 in the last day saith God I'm going to pour out my spirit upon all flesh your sons and your daughters shall prophesy your young men are see visions your old men or dream dreams come on y'all there's a great outpouring coming on the young people in this last generation God's gonna use them mightily amen come on y'all ain't saying nothing here you got to believe that the mark of the last day revival is the saving of our sons the saving of our household the saving of our sons and daughters God is gonna go get them out of the crack house he's getting them out of gangs come on he's getting them out of prison come on God is raising up a new army come on if we can only know who Jesus is just like he asked the boys who were following him we will have a proper revelation of what God wants to do in this next season come on who do you say Jesus is in your life today 
Who do you say? Ah, and Peter rose up. He says, ah, we know who you are. Thou art the Christ, son of the living God. Ah, and Jesus said to Peter, boy, you done been with God. Flesh and blood did not reveal this unto you, but my father, which is in heaven. And now, Simon, I say unto you, boy, you going to get an identity change. You will no more be called Simon, but I say this day you are called Peter. And upon the revelation that I am the Christ, I'm going to build a church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. I feel something pushing me right on in here. You got to be encouraged, believer, because there's no plan that the enemy can dispatch from the gate of hell that will ever overcome you in your life. Watch this. Why would you say that? Because in the last era before the pandemic, you thought church was just the four walls and the building but what Jesus was saying to Peter I'm not interested in four walls I'm interested in a people come on the church of which the gates of hell shall not prevail is not brick and mortar but is you and I that is wonderful believer you can take that promise and fight the devil you can tell the devil I don't care what you do I don't care what you try to put on my life I know the gates of hell will not prevail so what does that mean believer when I get out of the bed in the morning as a child of a child of God belonging to the church of the living God I can stand with pride with my head up and declare today the gates of hell shall not prevail when sickness come the gate of hell shall not prevail when depression come the gate of hell shall not prevail when discouragement come the gate of hell shall not prevail Prevail. Weeping may endure for a night. Joy come in the morning. I know it looks bad now. I know it looks like the devil is winning in this world. But I want to encourage the church. Keep on praying. Keep on believing God. Keep on trusting God. Keep on interceding. Keep on calling on God. Both day and night. Come on. He hears the prayers of the righteous. And his ears is attentive to his cry. Come on little flock of God. It is the Father. Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. If you ask him an egg, come on, would he give you a serpent? If you ask him for bread, would he give you a stone? It's the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Oh, whatever you ask in prayer, believe and you shall receive. God is about ready to move us to the next level and dimension in our life. Come on, somebody give God praise there in your home today who do men say that I am he said boy you got the right revelation flesh and blood did not reveal that to you he says Peter I'm gonna build a church and the gate of hell shall not prevail and not only am I building a church not only am I building the lives of those who are connected and called the body of Christ he said I'm just not gonna leave it there but he said I'm gonna give them power I want God is building you in this season I come to tell you what he's doing in your life he's building power he's building authority that the enemies that buffeted you prior to this shut in and pandemic when you come out of this with a renewed faith you're going to be able to look the devil in the face because God is not only building a church but he's giving us power he said whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven whatever you loose on earth Earth shall be loosed in heaven the problem with us is we have not used the delegated authority and the kingdom power like we did we were just busy coming to church we were just busy going to Sunday school while the devil ran rushed in our life but now when we emerge for those who are seeking God for those who are asking God what are you going to do God said be encouraged this morning I'm giving you a Authority. I come to encourage you. Matter of fact, right here, open your mouth and declare what God has already said about your life. This is how you're going to defeat the devil. You got to open your mouth. You got to say something. Uh, the problem, one of the issues with the church is that we just been too silent. Uh, they passed laws in the land that were not conducive to the church. But what did the church do? We remained silent. We let the, let the enemy push us 
down. We didn't go marching. We didn't write no letters to Congress. We stayed in our congregation because we didn't want to make no waves. Come on, y'all. But I come to tell you, if you're going to be the church of the living God in this last hour, you got to get ready to make some waves. Come on, somebody praise God right there. Amen. You got to be ready to make some waves in the book of Acts chapter 17 at verse 6. Amen. Paul is preaching to in Thessalonica in a city there. Ah, he went in the synagogue. He was disputing day and night concerning the things of Jesus Christ. Ah, Paul began as he left that city making converts as he always did. There was a gentleman named Jason and Jason was there who was a believer of the Lord Jesus and as those men of that city were searching for Paul they went into the house of one called Jason uh, they brought Jason's house to the court they brought him to question him the manner in which Paul was speaking and one of the things they said about him was that these were they that turned the world upside down and has come here also you got to get ready to be a church that'll turn the world upside down come on somebody giving praise right there where you are Oh, I feel this anointing here today. Amen. Turning the world upside down. You read the book of Acts. They told those men after the day of Pentecost. They said, listen. Ah, they said, look, don't speak no more in the name of Jesus. They were questioning. There was a man lame at the gate of the temple called Beautiful. Come on, y'all. Ah, and they said, listen. They were questioning the very miracle of that man. Ah, because because that the apostles moved in such of a power amen they were not just interested in coming to that synagogue come on read Acts chapter 3 that man was laying at the gate of that temple called beautiful just asking for money look at that the religious were just going in having prayer just like they always did bypassing the man at the gate going in to have their usual meeting but Peter came from a different meeting meeting he came from the upper room with an axe come on chapter 2 with power from on high and instead of being like the religious who passed that man by day and night Peter looked at that gentleman and said look on us ah, I hear you Peter what was on them the power of God was on them to change that man's life Peter looked at him and axe and said silver and gold have I none but such as I have give I thee come on what do we have church in the name of Jesus Christ rise up and walk and the Bible says that man began to leap come on he went walking and leaping and praising God come on when you get a hold of the power of God God will cause your praise to be different somebody ought to clap your hands right there if you can Amen. So in the last few moments, amen. Get ready, church. Come on, gird up the loin of your mind. Our, our faith coming out of this pandemic. Come on, y'all. Our faith has got to be sincere now. It's got to be real. It's got to be tangible. Come on, it's got to be able to be felt. Come on. One of the things that I believe God is going to do through this next dimension of the church is make us more visible. Come Come on, not just doing miracles in the church, but when we're out at the restaurant, when we're out at the grocery store, God's going to anoint his servants and anoint his people, amen, just like Jesus, to do miracles right where they are. The day of the superstar preacher is over. I come to tell you there's only one star and his name is Jesus Christ. There's only one Lord of the church and his name is Jesus Christ. Look Look at what God has done through this pandemic. He has leveled the playing field. There's no more mega church doors opening. There's no more come on all of these things that we were so used to and we have to hear a certain voice there and a certain voice over there. Come on but I look for a day when the unity of the spirit come upon the saints 
and we not in competition no more but everybody got power with God I, I come to tell you in the book of Acts chapter 6 we see Stephen come on Stephen they told those men choose out seven men full of faith and of the Holy Ghost come on and we see Stephen moving in the same anointing that the apostles had he was just a deacon come on but that deacon had power with God not just to open a church not just to count money but to work miracles like the men of God I come to tell you the average believer is going to have power with God if he wants to come on somebody give God praise right there so the end time reviving is not just about here and there. Those who want it, those who are seeking God, you can have it if you're sincere in your heart. Ah, just a few moments left here. I got to talk to you momentarily about this. Because if we're going to be that church that Jesus is building, he warned them of the leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. In other words, what Jesus was telling them, if we look over in our text in Matthew chapter 9, he gave them a parable of new wine and new and old wine skins. And here was the understanding. He says, listen, if you take an old wine skin, the skin of an animal, they would use it, amen, as they pour pour wine into it and then as that as that grape juice would ferment and begin to turn into wine through the fermentation process in that process that juice had to uh, expand as it was going through its fermentation process and the skin come on had to be new because old skins watch this were brittle and when that juice began to expand that skin would not be able to expand with the fermentation process. In other words, Jesus is saying, you can't put this new move of grace that I'm bringing to establish a new kingdom of God and build a church in an old system. Come on. You can't do that. You got to be able to expand and move with what God is doing. Some of us lack the expansion capacity to grow with God and expand because of our traditions I come to tell somebody who's watching today ah, don't be like the word of God says in Mark chapter 7 where Jesus warned them you make the word of God of none effect by your traditions come on now God is not into a family church just the daughter and the son do all the work and everybody else just attend come on this is the way my father did it back in so and so year and we're still doing it that way come on God is trying to move you to a new dimension and I'm sorry to break your heart honey but some churches amen in this new season may even just have to say look when I started I thought I was a pastor but when I look around and see the fruit that I'm bearing maybe I was just not a pastor you gotta have enough humility to say honey after this pandemic I'm shutting this door with these three people and I'm going down the road where God is moving ain't no shame in the game honey you gotta know what your limit is no need of you going through with your blood pressure and hell and high water over ten folk that been doing it the same way come on you gotta understand and I'm sorry to break the news to you but listen we gotta come into a better unity of the faith in this last hour if we gonna make it you ought to just show up and say listen here bishop man of god come on i thought that was so would you cover me would you cover my ministry i'm bringing my people come on we want to be a part of something moving come on that's what you gotta do now if you want to be a part of this so come on you need a new wine skin for the new move of god don't be restricted and constrained come on but you gotta understand what god is doing in this last hour come on somebody give him praise right there 
Amen. So he says, listen, don't put this new wine in an old wine skin. Don't be too uh, traditional. Amen. Because this, this church here is not going to be a traditional way. Amen. Ah, we're we going to have to begin to train and to teach folk. Amen. How to represent the church in this last and evil day. Ah, I know that I said earlier that there's an anointing and we want to walk in it. But we don't want to have people out here embarrassing the church and embarrassing the kingdom. Come on. Get you some training. Come on. Get you some teaching. Get yourself ready. Don't be a novice when you go out. Come on, but go out with an understanding. Amen. You don't always need the elders, the pastors, the bishop, the leaders to pray for people. Go out. Amen. You don't have to make an uproar. Uh, look here. Peter didn't even have to use words. His very shadow healed the man that was laying on the bed. You don't always got to verbalize. The power of God can be on you. You can be in a room praying under your breath saying, Lord, bring a change in this room. Come on, let's do it with wisdom. Let's do it with power. Let's make sure we're covered. Let's make sure somebody knows about our ministry so that when we go out we can say, yeah, I know they are part of a good people. Come on, y'all. I come to tell you I don't want to break your heart, but we had a lot of renegades before for this pandemic we had people going here going there unaccountable don't know where they are where their ministry come from and now with this facebook live and all these streaming services everybody got a word from god everybody got something to say come on y'all but we still got to be accountable y'all come on we still got to let somebody know what we're doing because there are no renegades in the body of christ you ought to clap your your hands right there you gotta check yourself and say wait am i a renegade have i been trying to do it myself have i been trying to work it out in my own way i come to, i come to say something to you before we close i want to talk to those of you prior to this who have been discouraged about church and about ministry and the place where you've been connected amen if it were to be a perfect place, then you and I would not be a part of it. I don't care where you go. There is no perfect church. I don't care where you go. There's no perfect pastor, no perfect leader. You're not going to have it your way. Wherever you go, there you are. The drama you left down the road is the drama you're going to take with you. And after a while, that bitterness is going to spring up and trouble you. There are those of you who went and started churches because you was hurt in the church where you was at. And you started your church based upon the fact Act of everything that you went through in your last church but I come to tell you man of God I come to tell you woman of God you can't build a church like that because what do you where do you come from thinking that those things will not happen to you no pastor is exempt from trouble no pastor is exempt from church splitting come on every leader is gonna go through something are uh, you not exempt come on y'all and the very thing you're trying to prevent is the very thing that are happening in your church so come on and we're gonna really be the body of believers and I'm closing we need sons and daughters to come back home we need to apologize to our pastors and our leaders I'm sorry I made a mess I blame people but I want to be a part of something new and something real in this last hour we thank God and give God praise and glory right there yes sir ah yes God so I want to encourage you to day come on and be a part of the move of God come on and be a part of the true church of the living God let's be better workers let's be better uh, evangelists pastors and teachers let's be better servants in the house of God so that we can properly represent the kingdom in this last hour amen I want to pray with you today because we cannot come back to the sanctuary when we are allowed. We cannot come back with business as usual. But listen, we have to be better hearers of the word. We have to be better doers of the word. 
and not hear us only deceiving ourselves. Come on, let's let God deal with us while we're in this time of transition. God's doing some great things among us. He's working in systems of the world. He's giving benefits and education, and he's doing things financially. I believe there's going to be a great wealth transfer so that the church can do what it needs to do to propagate vision in this last hour, that we won't just be a broke church, but we will be a church of means to be able to get something done. We have to have money to feed the people. Come on, y'all. We have to have finances to go all over the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let the Lord use you in this last hour. Those of you who are connected to your man of God, your woman of God, your body of believers, especially you of in his image, continue to give, continue to so continue to give up your finance and your substance because, excuse me, it's not just about, amen, the money that you're giving. And I know people have a problem with tithing and all of that. But listen, the principle of giving never fails. You can never outdo God in giving no matter how hard you try. Some of you are going to reap some 30, some 60, some 100 fold because you're supporting the church in this last hour. Why don't you praise God right there and type it on your screen. I'm going to reap if I faint not. I want to encourage you today, continue to give to your leaders, your pastors need it, continue to sow into their life. I want to pray with those of you, amen, just a few group of people that have experienced, some people have experienced loss, some have experienced death and different things through this time. So let's pray together, amen, one with another as we look to encourage those, amen, who are going through in this time. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus those who are those who are on the broadcast excuse me those who are on the broadcast father and those who are in their home many have lost loved ones through this season you said blessed are they that mourn for they shall be comforted father we pray you comfort the hearts of those who have lost loved ones whether they've been sick in general or through this covid through this virus father we pray you would comfort their hearts in the name of Jesus. We pray today, God, for your people, God, that are believing you. Some are on unemployment. Some are looking for where their next money is going to come from. You're able to supply all their need according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Father, I stretch forth my hand over the airways and the highways, God, that you will provide for them, God. Be a provider. Father, show them that you are their Jehovah Jireh, that you are the Lord that provides. Make a way out of no way, God. In the name of Jesus, look on those who are sick, those who are are in the prisons look on the inmates father and they're experiencing an outbreak father of this virus in many places look on those men there for Jesus gave us father God a word he said when he was in prison they did not come and see him father you look at inmates and those who are incarcerated as as much a part of you as we are we pray God that you will save God and heal and touch God and overturn illegal sentences and raise up men of God out of that place that will be mighty preachers and warriors for you God in the name of Jesus we thank you and we give you glory come on somebody just begin to clap those hands just begin to give God glory just begin to give God honor in the name of Jesus father we thank you we love you today father in the name of Jesus heal mighty God look on those who are stricken with cancer look on those with underlying conditions just as your word says whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven we bind sickness and disease we call it unlawful in the name of Jesus God do this thing and it shall be done just like you said in the book of Jeremiah heal and we shall be healed save and we shall be saved do it for your glory in the name of Jesus come on give God the praise and the glory right there if you believe it today Yes, Lord, we thank God. We give him praise. 
Amen. We thank God for you tuning in today with us. We want to encourage you that we have been on our Facebook Live and streaming on Wednesdays, and we are streaming on Fridays and also on Sundays. We invite you to tune in, listen, like, share, subscribe, hit that little notification so that you can know when we're going live. There's great prayer and great teaching going on, and we look to see you a part of that audience. And listen, if you don't have a church home, when we get back together, stop by and see us. Amen. Stop by, amen, and step in the sanctuary and say, listen, I watched you on streaming and I think I want to be a part of this group. We appreciate you so much. Continue to give and so You can give to In His Image Ministries through the Cash app, amen. Also, you can visit www net. You can use the PayPal there, or for those of you who have the Givelify application, you can also use it there. Just make sure you have the right address, and we will greatly appreciate every gift that you sow today. Saints of God, we love you. Share this word with somebody. We look to be a part of your life uh, very soon. We thank the Lord. Um, we thank we thank God. We want to tell Sister Dewana, be encouraged. Amen. Come on, help me praise God, those of you that are here. Be encouraged, girl. We love you. Amen. God bless you. Sister Nikki, be encouraged. We thank God for you. Amen. We're praying. Amen. For each and every one, God bless you. From In His Image Ministries, the center of hope for all people, we'll see you soon. God bless you. We love you. <laughs>